Hello everybody, it is Freaker, and welcome back to the Minecraft Survival World. And yeah, we have the bamboo farm there, the sugarcane farm there, and we have a giant hole right here. But, yes, there is reason for the giant hole. Uh, let's pop the HUD up. If you remember, we've been working on putting some farms in, and one of the ones I was going to do was a tree farm. <clears throat> And the one I wanted to do did not have a good tutorial for from the creator of the farm. Uh, the farm is from Etho. And it's his uh, like spruce TNT farm uh, that's pretty well known. But it's... Etho doesn't do tutorials real well. <laughs> so, or he, he just doesn't do them, I guess is the way to say it. So luckily I found someone on YouTube who did a tutorial and I've made the made it into a schematic. Let me actually turn it on. And how do I do the uh, try and remember. Uh how do I do the configure? That's not it. Alright. Let me see. Schematic placements. Configure. Eh, it's not task manager. It's not that one. Ah, huh. there we go. I found out which button it is. But as you can see, it is very large. <laughs> it is very large, and most of that's just the TNT dropping. Uh, so yeah. Also, ignore the entities. That's from me testing it. But yes, so. I have a schematic I will be following, and it it's actually pretty simple. Also, a lot of hoppers. I'm hoping that doesn't cause issues. But yeah, if anyone's interested in the schematic, just leave it down in the comments, and I will... Oh, there's a block, actual block there. And I will try to uh, at least share it. Like, the credit is not me. Farms by Etho, and then... Uh, the tutorial I followed is by this guy. I forgot what his name is off the top of my head, and I don't have it written down right now. But I will have it written down for you on screen. So, let's get to building this.
but we need one more thing. And there we go. Conveniently placed down here. Yep. Get a stack of those. We do need some bone meal. I grabbed some saplings. So, yeah. There isn't a bunch of TNT in there, but there's enough just to check see if it works. Alright. That's there. Tree number two. And dig ourselves out. Tree number four. Then we gotta come around here. Uh, the only thing is some of this glass may get exploded. But if it does... Uh... Yeah. I may have to replace some redstone down there if it gets exploded, but oh well. Alright. And now we need... Right here should be the spot. And... So, my filming skills uh, are not very good, as you can tell. Let's get... And yeah, you do have to clean up the last few. Oh, I triggered everything again. Okay, that actually may be an issue. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. So, be careful. Uh... Luckily, all it does is blow up the dirt. So. Blow up the dirt and scare the crap out of you. But, like I said, there may be a couple glass blocks that explode on the water tower. Uh, if I, when, when I decorate, I'm, I'll cover up the redstone and that won't be an issue. Alright. Is that. And. There we go. Another tree fully grown. I'm going to go ahead and toss in all that stuff so we can kind of keep a running tally. And we just go up here. And go ahead and start the replay mod, which is what I was going to do when I fell in the hole. Alright. And try this again. Now we go over here. It missed a couple up there, but that should be fine. Like that, that should be fine. Because when the next one grows, it like all the leaves should disappear anyway. But when the next one grows, it should just kind of assimilate into the Borg. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I need I need to add storage pretty quickly. But hey, it's working. And I only flooded the redstone once <laughs> in the building of this. I I would call that a big a great success. And we are back. It's been a couple days. 
Uh, just been working on a few things IRL. Uh, yeah. Also been having some computer issues. Uh, my computer's running very, very hot right now. Uh, so I'm trying to be very careful getting through the rest of this episode. It's, been, it's just been fun rendering out replay mod. My computer hasn't been liking it. And, uh, the supplies to fix it don't come in until the day this video is coming out. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm trying to get some stuff on the channel. It's just been fun, uh, trying to do so. But it just takes a little extra patience, which is not something I'm known for. But anyway, been working on one thing off camera that uh, hasn't been frying my computer, but if, if you notice what one of the main blocks in our build palette is over here, it's brick, and I'm just, I don't have the giant villager trading system set up, uh, at least I don't have them zombified, uh, so I, I figured, well, there's an easier way to get brick. And it's rather recent, so uh, I dug a hole. And down here in just a fairly simply decorated space, uh, pop open this. And uh, yeah, this is all pointed dripstone underneath all of these blocks. So we should be able to take mud and just throw it on essentially these tables and it'll dry out so yeah i was gonna build a mud farm that was quick was gonna build a mud farm down here as well and i still might okay i swear random tick speed like i thought these took a lot longer to do but anyway, so you can see we can just kind of toss them on here and they will turn to clay, which we can then mine and then throw in the super smelter, which isn't coming. I've just got a couple uh, furnaces with hoppers connected to them in the uh, lighthouse. So, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I glitched myself into the stair there. Take that out of the offhand. But yeah, I think this can hold seven and a half stacks. But yeah, this is just something I dug out. I recorded it replay mod, but then I started looking at replay mod and like, this is boring. Don't want to make you guys sit through a time lapse of just digging out a square, square hole. And then the design and decoration was just winged on the fly all over the place so yeah yeah but i did have fun building it but anyway i might put a mud farm kind of tucked in there there El mango's got a nice compact design for one and i gathered all the supplies i just don't have enough time to build it and get an episode out in a decent amount of time so i will probably build it off camera and you'll see it uh the next time or the next episode. But yeah. With the wood farm. And now the clay. Clay farm. Uh, we actually have. Just about all the infrastructure we need. And we have plenty of stone brick. So we have pretty much our entire build pallet. Which yes. I should have done these farms first. But that's not the way my brain works. But yeah. So I will be working on this. Trying to fix my computer issues. All the while. Uh, finishing up. We're going to be finishing the Spirit and the Mouse. Which I still have to record. But we'll probably be going out before this video. Yeah. Uh, welcome to Chaos. But at least it's organized Chaos, right? <laughs> So, yeah. And to get back out of here, we just have a little 
line block launcher. And I will decorate this area. The only issue is, unless I want to pull that up one block, this is as high as this area can go. But yeah. And I gotta debate if I want to move the skeleton spider farms or not. But anyways, guys. Hopefully I'll see you with a computer that's not on fire in the next episode. Until then, this has been Reeker. Uh, adios, amigos.